very slow fall into the weekend. Temperatures with those clouds, a lot of 60s out there, but officially at the airport we do have 70 degrees and we would typically be seeing numbers near 80 for this time of year. So there's that pesky warm front that we have seen so many times in the last several months just sort of hanging out and it's going to be waving back and forth as we get into the next couple days. As you see in, on uh, Tuesday, we'll stay dry and then Wednesday as that front gets a little bit closer to us, that will trigger some showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Thursday, the back end of this front will sweep through and we'll see some more wet weather, but Friday, when summer officially begins, it looks like that's going to be the best of the bunch, not only from the lack of rain, but from temperatures too. 58 tonight, skies mostly cloudy, calm conditions, humidity is still low. That's the one thing that we've got going in our favor here for the next few days, but that may change though as we get into the upcoming weekend. Here's tomorrow's highs, a little bit more like it, upper 70s across the area, a little bit cooler downriver, uh, Flat Rock checking in at 72. If we touch 80 anywhere in the area, it's probably going to be down in Lenawee County towards the state line, but we'll be close to that mark uh, across most of the south zone and really the west zone too. A lot of 78, 79s in here, and even the north zone is not going to be all that much cooler. Uh, for high temperatures tomorrow, except near the lakeshore, where we're looking at mid 60s uh, from Lexington south and may eventually push into the low 70s down there in Port Huron. So numbers are going to stay at or a little bit below average as far as the next seven days are concerned. And once we get into the weekend, things get a little iffy with uh, rain chances both Saturday and Sunday. And Monday for the Ford fireworks, it is going to be a close call. Right now we've got that forecast partly cloudy, but we're watching an active front somewhere in the area. Don't forget Wednesday, that's going to be our last severe weather alert radio day of the season. We're going to be out at the Meyer in Westland, so come join us. Brandon will be out there at 11 a.m., and I'll be out there for the early evening shows on Wednesday this week. Karen.